Leck and Greg Vegan Camp, the 1st of November 2023. Happy National Vegan Day! First, we get some bananas. Then, we get a leafy herb. And then, we have a nice breakfast. Baishap Blue, uh, wrapped around a banana. Very nice, delicious. Mmm! Aroi mag leuya! Aroi mag, na? Ching ching leuya! So in my experience, when you combine these foods, when you combine nature with nature, it just gives extremely nice stuff. Very tasty, flavorful, smells so nice and good. It just, just makes you want to eat more and you just get the energy and the power and you feel good, your digestion is good. It's just so easy to make. The preparation time is like whole foods and it's just amazing. Passion fruits start falling from the plants. The asparagus field. For the last three or four months we have had every day a little bit of asparagus to eat. So that's really nice. Mmm! Aloe magloya! Very tasty. And then the plants will get balls like these and inside of these there are I think around 10, 15, 20 seeds and you can grow more asparagus. This is a little bit smaller. Only had one seed. Let's plant it. In the asparagus field there is a papaya coming up and a tomato it looks like. I enjoy when there are different plants growing together. I know that sometimes it's not good to have a papaya tree where you have asparagus growing because the papaya will grow big, maybe shade for the asparagus. But um, in, in this case, I, I love uh, papayas too. So in this case, I would uh, just let it grow. But if I really wanted more asparagus, I would probably need to move the papaya. But let's see what happens. The limes are still dropping from the trees, but not in uh, large amounts anymore. The new tamarinds are already ready to be used as a very sour um, supplement to different Thai dishes. So um, it's not ripe yet. Uh, I usually like it when it's uh, ripe and then make mix it uh, this tamarind with um, chili and use it as condiment for all kinds of dishes and just put it on the rice with uh, pumpkin or something and it's tasty and spicy and this smells like candy when it's ripe though it's very very sour. The young trees need constant help because otherwise the weeds will take over the planet. We don't want that. Look at those beans growing here in the majestic Red Cavendish forest. Banana plants are truly amazing. And then you can have all kinds of things growing like beans and beans help with everything. Nitrogen fixating plants are awesome for all things. This is how our border looks. It's planted with bananas and a little bit of different plants. We also have a mango tree and cassava root. or cassava. Cassava. So this is what's left from the cutting down of the mango trees. And I'm still very hopeful. I think the many of these mango trees will survive. Some of them are completely dead, but some have like shoots like this. So I'm still hopeful that parts of the trees will survive and 
Yeah, but I also can see that trees like like this one seems to be completely dead. Pineapples. I usually just look inside. Is it coming or not? Not yet. Hopefully soon. Many of our bean plants died. They got sick or something. So we were forced to cut cut them down. There is a single bean. Usually we have a ton of beans, but this year not. A lot of chilies as always, always coming up in different areas of the garden. Here are three malagols, papayas, growing together with red cavendish. And if we turn around a little bit, you can see that there are three papaya trees here too, producing really well. And over here, it's nearby, we're growing more papayas. So papayas are really nice because they can be used for papaya salads. And also when they're ripe, just eat them as they are. Many times in the past I've not been um, successful with moving papaya trees. But uh, now if I wait until they are get a little bit bigger, uh, it seems like it's easier to move them. And also if I water them uh, initially with a fungi called Bauveria something something, it's really really good. Ask me about the co completely correct name in the comments below and I will 100% answer you. These are just nice. Also on the border of a compost uh, area, it's really nice to plant these uh, papayas. Yesterday I was also inspecting this new papaya tree, which already has some fruit and Apparently there is a nest of wasps nearby and it stung me on my leg. So this is what happens. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, my left uh, left leg is more swollen. But luckily it just goes away again. And it goes away again faster if you drink enough water, eat a lot of plant foods, a lot of greens, like the chaya we have, like we steam the chaya every day. And it's just like all the antioxidants, it just helps with the, and, and then if you exercise, of course, a little bit. Just walking in the garden is enough. And we have the eggplants. And also, I almost forgot, we have guava from the garden. It's like apple. But different. A mix maybe between apple and um, a pear or something like that. Very cool.